I am your host, Asa Kane. When I woke up this morning to see what the market had been doing overnight, this is what I saw. Everything down significantly from Bitcoin to Ethereum to all the altcoins. And my first question was, what has happened since I went to bed last night? And this is what I find out. The SEC has just filed charges against Binance, the largest crypto exchange in the world. Okay, now in this episode, we're going to go into exactly what these charges are, how they've come about, how the token is doing, and what, if anything, Binance has to say in response to all this. Okay, because we want to hear from them if possible. Now, before we get into any of this, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, and also click the bell notification. That's going to ensure that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. Now, this video is brought to you in part by BidFi. With BidFi, you gain access to well over 450 different altcoins, many of which are not available on Coinbase or on Crypto.com, period. OK, um, along with that, when you use our link to sign up, you will also get two thousand eight hundred and eighty eight dollars of rewards. And I'll go over that in a second. Now, look here. As of today, Monday morning, you can see Motai is up. Over five percent in the last 24 hours. Do any of you even know what Motai is? Have you ever heard of it before? And then you can see here, $37 million worth of multi has been bought and sold over the last 24 hours here on BidFi. These are the rewards I was just telling you about, $2,888 in rewards for completing tasks, simple tasks, such as signing up and completing your KYC, authenticating your account through Google, adding an anti-phishing code, 10 bucks for joining their, all of their communities, Receiving USDT when you make your first deposit of $100. If you're in the U.S. or Canada, you receive $100 as a reward, a welcome reward, I should say, in addition to all of that. And then also you receive anywhere from five up to 5,000 USDT just for giving your feedback. Now, right here, derivatives training, trading, I should say. You can gain the ability to leverage up to 150 times your current asset value. So if you have a thousand dollars worth of say Bitcoin, you gain the power buying power of $150,000 in Bitcoin, or you can play it safe and leverage up to three X with any blue chip assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP and the like, where there is no chance of your assets being liquidated. Okay. Now this article I want to share with you is from NPR and it was published this morning. Okay. And by David Gore. And it says the SEC sues Binance unveils 13 charges against crypto exchange and sweeping lawsuit. <sighs> okay. Let's go into it. U.S. regulators have targeted another giant in the world of crypto. The security and exchange commission has filed 13 charges against Binance the world's top crypto exchange as well as as well as his billionaire co-founder and CEO Chan Peg Zhao, who is widely known as CZ. Yes, we know it's the latest in a string of actions being taken against crypto companies in a lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia. The SEC accused Zhao and his company of misleading investors about Binance's ability to detect market manipulation as well as of misusing customer funds and sending some of that money to a company controlled by CZ, among other charges. Wow. The SEC also accused Binance of running an unregulated trading platform in the U.S. and allowing U.S. customers to trade crypto on an exchange that is supposed to be off limits to U.S. investors. Through 13 charges, we allege that Zao and Binance entities engaged in an extensive web of deception, conflict of interest, 
lack of disclosure and calculated eva- uh, evasion of the law, said SEC Chair Gary Gensler in a statement. They attempted to evade U.S. securities laws by announcing sham controls. Wow. SEC's actions are the latest in a barrage of actions being taken by regulators against crypto companies. So far, the biggest target has been FTX, a company that collapsed. We know all that. <clears throat> Binance market share has grown dramatically since FTX went out of business. True. And in recent months, it has been the focus of regulators and law enforcement agencies around the world. Most recently in March, the Commodity Futures Trade Commission accused the company of violating the Commodity Exchange Act. Now, there is Gensler right there that we're looking at. Binance accused of not properly registering U.S. exchange. Like other large crypto companies, Binance operates products tailored to different countries and regulatory regimes. Since 2019, Binance has run a separate exchange for customers in the United States, known as Binance.us, to comply with U.S. laws. As such, U.S.-based investors aren't supposed to use Binance's global platform known as Binance.com. But in today's filing, the SEC says the company and its chief executive subverted their own controls to secretly allow high-value U.S. customers to trade on its international exchange. Two subsidiaries, BAM Trading and BAM Management, supposedly control the U.S. operations independently. But according to the SEC, that firewall has been more permeable than the company has let on publicly. Zao and Binance, let's go in here. As of today, Monday, June the 5th, this is today, as you can see, Bitcoin down 6.3% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum, 5.3%. Binance down almost 10% in the last 24 hours alone. And then look at this. We're just getting started. Look, everything is down in the top 25. Yep. Top 30. Top 40. Top 50. <laughs> look at this. Now, as of this morning, the price per BNB token is $275. It is down again, not just under 10%. Its market cap is just under $43 billion with a B correct. $42.9 billion. It is currently ranked number four out of well over 10,000 altcoins on the market today. In the last 24 hours, as you can see here, you see here the 24 hour trading volume just under 900 million, 887 million to be exact. So up 244%. Most of that is sales. Or sell sell offs, I should say. Let's look here in depth. This morning, everything started at eight a.m. California time. All right, so just depending on where you're at, look at this. It was three hundred dollars per token at that time, and then once the news came out about the lawsuit and the charges, the sell off commenced. And here we go, and it has not stopped yet. And then we can see here over the last month. I mean, it's pretty much been even kill, you know, up until this morning. Everything has changed this morning, as of this morning, for all the all coins, for our entire market, just off of this news. That's how pivotal a role Binance plays, okay, in all of our lives as an investor, even if we don't use them, because I don't use Binance, but I have, and Many people do. Many of you guys do. Okay, which is why we're talking about this, because it's all cause and effect. This affects all of us, whether we use the platform or not. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, I have something else that I just pulled up that we're going to learn about together. Okay. This is very important. It goes with what's going on right now. All right. First of all, this is Binance's Twitter page. As you can see here, they've got 10 and a half million followers, literally 10 and a half million. All right. Now let's go down here. Now we don't care about pizza right now, maybe later on, but right here. And down here, our response to the SEC's complaint. This was 
published a few hours ago. Okay. SEC complaint aims to unilaterally define crypto market structure. Now, this was published this morning. Okay. This is on Binance's blog. I'll leave a link in the description. All right. It says it aims to unilaterally define the crypto market structure. We are disappointed that the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission chose to file a complaint today against Binance, seeking, among other remedies, purported emergency relief. From the start, we have actively cooperated with the SEC's investigations and have worked hard to answer their questions and address their concerns. Most recently, we have engaged in an extensive good faith discussions to reach a negotiated settlement to resolve their investigations. But despite our efforts with its complaint today, the SEC abandoned that process and instead chose to act unilaterally and litigate. We are disheartened by that choice. While we take the SEC's allegations seriously, they should not be the subject of an SEC enforcement action, let alone on an emergency basis. We intend to defend our platform vigorously. Unfortunately, the SEC's refusal to productively engage with us is just another example of the Commission's misguided and conscious refusal to to provide much needed clarity and guidance to the digital asset industry. Today's action is another in the line of examples where, as with other crypto projects facing similar suits, the commission has determined to regulate with the blunt weapons of enforcement and litigation rather than the thoughtful nuanced approach demanded by this dynamic and complex technology, unilaterally labeling certain tokens and services as securities, even ones over which other U.S. authorities have asserted jurisdiction only compounds these problems. Perhaps most surprisingly, the SEC's actions undermine America's role as a global hub for financial innovation and leadership. Digital asset laws remain largely undeveloped in much of the world, and regulation by enforcement is not the best path forward. An effective regulatory framework demands collaborative Transparent and thoughtful policy engagement, a path the SEC has abandoned. Wow. And to be clear, any allegations that user assets on the Binance U.S. platform have ever been at risk are simply wrong. And there is zero jurisdiction for the staff's action in light of the ample time the staff has had to conduct their investigation. All user assets on Binance and affiliate platforms are secure and safe, and we will vigorously defend against any allegations to the contrary. Wow. Rather, the SEC's actions here appear to be in service of an effort to rush to claim jurisdictional ground from other regulators and investors do not appear to be the SEC's priority. Because of our size and global name recognition, Binance is an easy target now caught in the middle of a U.S. regulatory tug of war. Wow. It seems based on these developments that the SEC's goal here was never to protect investors. If that were to truly the case, the staff would have thoughtfully engaged with us on the facts in our efforts to demonstrate the safety and security of the Binance platform. The SEC's real intent here instead appears to be to make headlines. Wow. We are. We will continue to cooperate with regulators and policymakers in the U.S. and across the globe because that is the right thing to do. And Binance remains committed to a productive engagement to ensure the next generation of cryptocurrency regulation. But the, wow, this is because Binance is not a U.S. exchange. The SEC's actions are limited in reach. Still, we stand with digital asset market participants in the U.S. in opposition to the SEC's latest overreach, and we are prepared to fight it to the full extent of the law. Wow. Now, if this video has been of value to you and our channel as a whole, contribute back. You can do so by making a donation of Ethereum to our address in the description or of any ERC-20 token. You can also send a super thanks as well. It all helps us to grow and to continue to provide infinitely valuable information to all of you. Okay. Now, if you have any questions about BidFi or about anything going on with Binance or anything we have planned, send me an email. 
Now, make sure that you use our link to sign up and get your own account going. By using our link, you're going to save 10% also on every transaction that you make. Period. No one else is doing it. Only bid five. And also make sure you grab your ledger and protect what you have. Okay. Now we've got even more coming out. This is going to be a huge month for us. This is going to be the biggest month in our history, to be honest with you. That's all I can say right now. But until next time, get in there and make it happen.